here's a couple of goodies that I picked. So stand by. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. Oh, the mistletoe is hung where you can't see. Somebody waits for you, kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and in case you didn't hear. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Sound okay? You guys hear that all right? hung where you can see somebody waits for you is her once for me have a holly jolly christmas and in case you didn't hear oh by golly have a holly jolly christmas this year That's fun. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times you hear it, right? It's still fun. It does not. Okay, here's one a little bit more upbeat. Let's see how you like it. Hang all the mistletoe, I'm gonna get to know you better. This Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together. This Christmas, my side is blazing bright, and we're caroling through the night. This Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me, yeah. Presents and cards are here, my world is filled with cheer and cheer. And as I look around, your eyes are trying to sound me too. This Christmas, fireside is blazing bright. And we're caroling through the night. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas. Fireside is blazing bright Caroling through the night And this Christmas will be A very special Christmas for me, yeah Merry Christmas Shake a hand, shake a hand now Wish your brother 
<laughs> Woo! One more, one more, one more. All right. Hopefully this uh, the uh, balances were good. You can hear both me and the music okay? Because I can never tell. <laughs> that sounds great from here. Good. All right. Here's one of my favorites. Some of you guys may have heard this, me do this at the center because I love it so much. And it makes me feel so fun to do it. So I left it for last. Hold on one second. One, one second. Hold on. Try that one more time. <laughs> Christmas, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Feliz Navidad. Thank uh, you, I am Christopher. Grateful. I am grateful uh, in keeping with Jim's theme. I'm grateful for the fellowship we have here, the, the, the friends and families. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful to have my health. I'm grateful to be able to perform musically in front of, uh, in front of loving, loving open hearts. And so I thank you for this opportunity. That's what I'm grateful for. Mm. Thanks, Christopher. Thank you. I could like uh, in that last song, your your mic was low, but your heart was so big that you were just broadcasting beautifully. All right, thank you so much. Mm. Glad you enjoyed it. It's a pleasure. <sighs>
All right. And next up tonight, we have Cameron. Cameron, I think that you are a relation of Robin. Is that true? You're, you're still muted. Yeah. Um, Robin is my mom's mom. So grandma. Mm -hmm. Is that what Robin likes to be called as grandma or does she have a different name? Um, I call her Nana. Nana. Okay. Nana Robin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do for us tonight? Um, I was going to sing Silver Bells. It's Super. one of my favorite Christmas songs. Thank you. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Like how old you are? What you like? I'm 12 years old. I go to St. Pius School. Um, I love to sing and I'm into acting and theater. And I'm a member of the Columbus Children's Choir and we meet on Zooms on Mondays and we practice singing and actually the we are practicing Christmas carols right now so that's how I learned the song. <laughs> cool thank you so much for sharing I can't wait to hear your song go ahead when you're ready. Okay. City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. Children laughing, people passing, meeting smile after smile. And on every street corner, you'll hear silver bells, silver bells, silver bells, silver bells. It's Christmas time in the city. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling, hear them ring, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas day. Strings of street lights, even stop lights, blink a bright red and green as the shoppers rush home with their treasures. Hear the snow crunch, see the kids bunch. This is Santa's big scene. And above all this bustle you'll hear. Silver bells, silver bells, silver bells, silver bells. It's Christmas time in the city. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling, hear them ring, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cameron. I didn't expect acapella. That was even better. <laughs> Uh, you have a beautiful voice. And if you feel like you want to share when we do this again next month or any month, please come back. Uh, we love to hear. We love, I love your voice. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So next up, I'm not sure if she's ready, but we have Holly and Abby. I see Holly's iPhone is logged in. Are you ready, ladies? Hello. <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. there you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. <laughs> oh, hey. There we are. Yeah, hi. Okay. Hi. So, super sorry that we are joining you from the car this evening, but we uh, triple booked ourselves, and we uh, we thought we double booked ourselves, but turns out we triple booked, and um, so, but we didn't want to miss this chance to share um, with you this evening because one of the main reasons I wanted to do this this evening was because Reverend Jim told me that it was about gratitude and uh, appreciation and kind of like our COVID experiences. And one of the things I have been most grateful for throughout this whole entire um, COVID year, I call it, is actually Reverend Jim and Linda for sure, because um, they have been just complete rocks for me. Uh, I, um, quit my job in June, which is really crazy to do in case you didn't know in the middle of a pandemic, but I did. And, um, and then my mom got really sick around August and, um, had to have open heart surgery, but the two of them, like I started going on walks with them a lot and 
they um, just to kind of keep myself grounded, but they totally um, gave me so much support and intuition. Like um, when I first called Jim to walk after I quit my job, I told him that I had made a big life decision and I wanted to like um, talk to him about it. And before even knowing what I had done, he was like, well, I don't know what you did, but I know that it took a great amount of faith. And, um, and then I clung to that kind of throughout my um, job search in the following months. Um, and then when I, when I walked with Linda the first time after that, she was like, well, you're not probably going to get a job until like September. Remember that? Yeah. I was a little stressed. I was like, ah, cause I didn't really have a safety net, but she was spot on. And, um, and I was worried about not working during that time, but then my mom got sick and it became a blessing that I didn't have a job because then I was able to be with her and help care for her and help my sister out and travel. Um, and all through the way, like Reverend Jim and Linda were there for me, like giving me supplement advice and just sending her energy and light, and good vibrations. So um, I am happy to say that my mom had a full recovery. Hey. Um, she's doing really, really great that I got a job that was even better than my last job. And I'm super happy with, I know. And um, I'm in the middle of moving this week. It's a huge transition week. So I appreciate your patience, but um, I had to get on here and like talk to you about what I am the most thankful for because it definitely is um, Reverend Jim and Linda are at the top of that list. And, um, and I wanted to share a mantra with you that I like to, to keep in mind. And I don't know if I've shared it before, <laughs> but it goes, um, and you can sing along. It, the mantra is everything is always working out for me and all I ever do is win, right? So I'm gonna um, make sure, I don't know if I can adjust the original sound here, but Abby and I are gonna sing this mantra. Like it's just us singing yeah. Yeah. And, um, and, and you can chime in and sing along. It's really easy. The melody is um, like this. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. So you probably want to be my friend. All right. So now you sing along with us. All right. Here we go. Two, three, four. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. Hey, Bonnie. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. So you probably want to be my friend. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you guys, Reverend Jim and Linda, my friends, and Bonnie and Abby, of course, um, friends have totally gotten me through uh, this. And if I were to express any gratitude towards anything, it would be that, those connections. And I want you to sing it now, but it's about you. It's not about me. All right. Here we go. One more time. Two, three, four. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. Everything's always working out for me. All I ever do is win. So you probably want to be my friend. I'm so glad you're my friend. Love you guys so much. Thank you. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. You you are our first car concert. And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I mean, it's like, look, you create beautiful, affirmative music from your car. And thank you so much for your story and your love is just gushing out of you. And I, everything is always working out for you. And all you ever do is win and I get it. And that <laughs> radiates to all of us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I want to say, I just want to say really quick, I didn't get a chance yeah. to, I just wanted to like echo that Holly's like my best friend and I'm, you know, I'm, we, we're tight, you know, I hear a lot, lot of her stuff that she has going on and like she has told me a lot about Reverend Jim and Linda and how helpful they have been to her. And like when she was telling that story, I was like, yep, I remember she told me about that. She told me about that. She told me about that. Like they are awesome. And like, I just, you know, so I just wanted to echo again, you know, that thank you. And you guys are amazing. And this is a beautiful community and every, you know, what you all are doing to support each other. This is all really beautiful. So thanks everybody. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm we hope you were driving while you were singing this car. Oh, no way. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. Linda, what did you ask? Thank you. 
I was hoping they weren't driving while singing. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, she's looking out for me. She's watching. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, no. Your hands are back. <laughs> Thank you. There are boxes in the back, though. <laughs> all right. Well, stay with us as long as you wish. And if, if you disappear, I know you're on to your second or third gig for the night. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So who else would like to share their grateful abundance tonight? We have time set aside just for this sharing. Who would like to share something they're grateful for? It could be big, small, full story, two words, doesn't matter. Jim. Well, I have been, I am really grateful for this year and it's come out of some things that were pretty difficult. But I, first thing is, is that when COVID hit, and the Planet Fitness got closed, I started walking. And for the last nine months, I've averaged walking over four miles a day. And I'm grateful that I can do the walking and I'm grateful that I have the time to do the walking. And what it's open for me also is a lot of opportunities to take pictures of nature. Mm. Um, one of the, I'm a spiritualist and one of the things that spiritualism teaches is that the highest example of the higher power is nature. And let me tell you, I've seen some amazing things. <laughs> the most amazing thing was three ants carrying a dead earthworm across a hot road <laughs> in the middle of the summer, <laughs> and they were getting it. <laughs> so it's just, I just think it's been really wonderful. I'm glad I'm healthy, and I'm glad to be in this group. Uh, it's a true blessing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Three ants carrying a dead earthworm. That is power and determination and teamwork. <laughs> I'll post it on Facebook. <laughs> yes, please. I've enjoyed your nature photos. Thank you. Who else would like to share tonight? I'll ring my bell. I, I'm going to share, but I can share last because I'm next. So I can share right before I start the next thing. If somebody else wants. Then you go ahead. How about you share now? And then if more people are inspired because what you want to share inspires them, that's fine. No. <laughs> okay. Um, I like Jim was grateful to be taking advantage of the outdoors more when we had to isolate one of the ways to balance was to be outdoors as much as possible. So I started a garden, got to see the little robins hatch. And I told that story one of these times. That was in July. I've gone walking with Jim, but I can't keep up with the four miles. <laughs> so I'm averaging maybe a mile and a half a day. Um, and noticing that I was out from March clear till now, any day that was nice. So that's been a blessing that I hope to continue. I'm so glad if we have to be in the middle of uh, COVID that we have things like Zoom because I've gotten close to three groups of people. This group right here, a book uh, club that I joined and a lunch bunch that I joined. And they're developing into the kinds of friendships that I think are going to last, you know? it's. Um, I'm getting to know so many more people closely while being isolated. <laughs> so, go figure. <laughs> um, I also think whenever there's challenge, there's always good that comes out of it. So I really truly believe that as a human race, we're growing our souls this year. That we've had opportunity to be more patient, to be kinder, to be friendlier, even at a distance, um, to be more compassionate, to see ourselves all as one. Those are just some of the things I'm grateful for. I'm so grateful for family and friends and everyone who um, is maintaining or, or are returning to health. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for 
it's expanding us there. Thank you. Um, I would like to go next. Uh, I really, it's, it's what Linda said. She inspired me. Um, I am grateful for reconnecting with nature this year because of COVID. Um, I made it a goal very early on in the year that I wanted to do uh, some camping. And really because of COVID, it kind of, you know, made camping even more a priority to do. And, you know, strangely, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And I, I just love camping now. So, so yeah, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Yeah, and because of COVID, I went camping. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was happy to let Matt go camping by himself. <laughs> Uh, before COVID. And then I saw that there was nowhere else I was going to get a go. <laughs> so we went camping in May, June, July, August, September, and October. I think I missed maybe one month in there. Uh, and it was, it's, it's, it's been good for me. It's been good for us. And I learned that, uh, uh, this sounds terrible, but I don't need a shower every day. I really doesn't kill me to not have a shower every day. <laughs> uh, we have any other grateful abundance shares for tonight? Yes, Sharon. Well, I, um, thank you all for inviting me. Um, you don't know me. I am Bonnie Shiplett's cousin. Oh. And so she asked if I would please share this story of finding Bonnie. Um, <laughs> it starts with the gratefulness. Um, the little bit of background is I was adopted as an infant, happy, happy life. My parents said at one point, shall we help you find your birth family? And I said, no, no, let's leave well enough alone. I'm very happy. <laughs> so all these years I went along um, just happy with who I was. And then in my 60s, I thought, well, I would like to know my ethnicity. So I did the whole spit in the tube, send it into Ancestry. And I, I did find out that I was Scottish and Irish and English and a little Cherokee Indian, maybe just like my parents were told. But I didn't expect people to pop up. And I don't know if any of you have ever done this, but here you get your little pie and then you get a list of people who share your DNA. And um, so my gratefulness comes that even though I didn't want to find these people, they popped up and contacted me. And I actually began to connect with many relatives, cousins and aunt. Um, Bonnie's brother, Myron, popped up as a first cousin and he was a big help and then put me in touch with Bonnie who immediately started calling people up and saying, guess what, you have a sister. And I was raised as an only child um, with all this help from so many cousins that popped up. I now get to the abundance part. <laughs> um, I found that instead of being an only child, I have eight siblings, um, five on my birth father's side and three on my birth mother's side. And and Bonnie is a cousin from that group. So um, I celebrate every year my gratitude for all these people who kind of took an interest and popped up and tried to help find this story and the abundance of all these amazing people who I have found. Bonnie even hopped on a plane sight unseen, showed up in Albuquerque. I picked her up. We spent a few really nice days together. Um, so that's it. Gratefulness and abundance. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I go from an only child to what? One of nine? Nine. Yeah, there are nine of us. Yeah. That, that's Great. something. But it is the way to do it because <laughs> you're an only child, you know, you get to have all the candy and, and the presents <laughs> and the attention. And then when you're older, it's kind of fun to have siblings. So I think, I think it worked out really well. <laughs> You've had a charmed life. Like you said, happy. <laughs> Everything works out just for you. 
It did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on with the program for tonight. And then we'll have another sharing time after intermission. It, is anybody else burning to share right now or can you wait till after intermission? Wave now if you must share now. It's okay. Yes, hi. Yes. Holly and Abby from the car. Yes. Just want to add <laughs> that everything is working out for her because Bonnie is a delight. I would love to be related to Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie is a beautiful spirit. Spirit, I love her so much. Anyone related to you, Bonnie is a lucky soul. I know you are. That's all. Love Just love for Bonnie. You. I'll blow you a kiss, Bonnie, too. There you go. Caught it. I love you, Holly and Abby. Burn everyone who we we sing together, and um, so grateful to know you, Sharon and be a part of my life. And my other cousin, Sharon from Albuquerque is also here. So she's, and she knows my dad's side, Sharon. <laughs> We're all connected, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. thank you so much. It was a miracle, it surely was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Aw. Yep. <laughs> all right, Linda. Our, our uh, storyteller, Linda, is up next. And tonight, I believe she is telling a very special story about something she has published. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One of the things that I got to do, okay. One of the things I got to do because of COVID um, was check something off of what has now become an item on my bucket list. About 40 years ago, I actually started writing books. I've written a few books. I hadn't published any books. <laughs> Mostly because every time I tried, it seemed daunting. When I first was trying, the first library book I checked out on how to get published said you had a one in 4,000 chance of getting published. <laughs> well, that's changed because publishers don't just put out books now. You can be um, independently published. And I am independently published through Amazon now. Three years ago, I tried and I had to print off a book this thick with grammatical, with uh, formatting, line by line formatting instructions. That turned me off. And so I attempted it now. And now it was possible to do, not easy. It was still daunting. But I'm very grateful that I have my first book published. It is The Empathic Gift. How many of you know what an empath is? Anybody want to give a venture a description? You want to unmute it and tell me what you think an empath is? <laughs> okay, I'll just go ahead. Um, an empath, one definition of it, is someone who feels other people's emotions and or physical conditions in their own body as if it's theirs. Um, you can imagine in times like these, the friends I have who are empaths can be very stressed. And luckily, I had, uh, I figured out that I was an empath about five years ago. I had been one for quite a while without knowing, but I figured it out about five years ago. And the gift, it, in the beginning, it wasn't a gift at all. Um, but I have learned that it is an absolute gift and I'm going to read the introduction to my book for you. So you might get a hint of why it is. Uh, this particular book for anybody has, at least half of it can be valuable for everybody, particularly for your health. Okay, introduction. My non-traditional spiritual journey began when I was a child. I simply did not know it at the time. It began with my mother's stories 
of her many psychic experiences as a young woman. Her spiritual awakening was something by which she was amazed at and dreaded. She could stand next to anyone and know aspects of their past and their future. There was no one to teach her how to use her gifts. She felt it was too much of a responsibility. She prayed every night that this would go away. It did finally stop, according to my mom, on the morning I was born. Now, um, this sounds a little bit Harry Potter, but that is what she told me, and she didn't tell me till she was in her 90s. She'd never heard of Harry Potter. <clears throat> More than a dozen years ago, I also became aware that I could communicate spiritually. My first reaction was like my mother's. I felt it was too large a burden and responsibility. As I looked at the stepping stones in my life, though, I could see that my mother's stories were only the beginning of many signs leading me down this path. I even had at least half a dozen friends at the time who were skilled in this area. I decided to let it be if it was meant to be. My spiritual gifts then developed slowly over time. Luckily, I had great teachers, particularly through the Christian Spiritualist Temple where I attended. Much of what I have learned all has also come from spirit. I came to understand it to be a wonderful outlet for service to others. My gifts were completely different than my mother's. One of the skills with which I was gifted was becoming an empath. The friends I had with this, with this sensitivity all taught that it required divine protection. Some of them seemed uncomfortable with the experiences that this proclivity brought. Some of them feared it. Some were drained by it. If you have not knowingly experienced this, can you imagine what it would be like to be bombarded with the additional emotional upheavals and the pain of others during these uncertain times? While my initial outlook on it began from these various points of view, I have completely done an about face. Now I value this greatly. Come share my experiences as an empath. Let me be clear, having these sensitivities is a metaphysical gift. It is one of the clairs, clair empathy, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience amongst others. Many believe that being an empath, clair empathy, is the doorway to all of these skills. Its purpose is to be of service. The secrets included herein will allow the reader to take pivotal shifts to completely stop feeling the negative emotions and physicality of others. Develop your connection to spirit, develop your skills for healing and co-creation at any level. See why you really do want to be an empath. It is a gift. <laughs> Thank you for letting me share that. Thank you, Linda. And Matt, that what you'd seen was the picture of Linda's book. And if they want to buy a book, Linda, how can they do that? It is available at Amazon in, um, you have to look it up by title. There's millions of books at Amazon and you cannot search by subject and find any book you want. They only list the, the top ones. I have to get at least 50 reviews before it will be searchable by subject. Okay, so if any of you want to do that, yeah. 
uh, <laughs> to me. <laughs> it really is. In any case, um, you can find it under the, the empathic gift or my name, Linda J. Coat. And you have to know the J. Turns out there's a whole bunch of Linda Coats out there that are published authors. <laughs> uh, type the name, the book title, and your name in the chat so that people can. Uh, and even better would be if you put the link to it on Amazon, copy it from Amazon and put it in the chat. That way we can just click and buy. Okay, so I'll try to do that. I have a paperback version, a Kindle version, and I, within a month, hopefully will have the audio at Audible up also. That is just so wonderful. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. All right. Okay, everyone. Well, well uh, mm, thank you, published author Linda. And now we welcome in Dave Scarborough. Are you ready? Uh, I believe uh, I am. Okay, what are you sharing with us tonight, sir? Just listen. Uh, this is my wife, my son. I'm trying to start some music, but it's starting an ad, though. Hang on for a minute. I lead an organization called Charity Water, and our mission is to bring. Skip ads. There we go. All right. Um, doing a, a uh, med meditation tonight, primarily um, affirmations. And what I wanted to do is take us into a place where we feel safe from all that's going on right now. Um, yeah, I'll share some first. But one of the things that I found going through this COVID thing is you re uh, really have to feel safe. And if you're watching the news every day, you're not gonna feel really safe, you know? So the first thing I found was turn the news off, you know, or at least limit the amount of time you spend watching the uh, news, you know? Try to meditate more, try to be out in nature more, go on long walks, like what uh, people were saying there. Be out uh, in the forest, be out walking, be out in the barks, wherever you, you find that you feel peaceful and you feel safe. So I'd not like to get us into that frame of mind right now. Take a few deep breaths and visualize every time you breathe in, that you're breathing in the relaxation and every time that you exhale, visualize that you're exhaling tension, all the tensions of the world. And none of it attracts to you. Everything that's going on out in the world, all the craziness, none of it, none of it attracts to you because it's at a lo lower vibration than you're at because you're connected to your source. You're connected to your source. None of this attracts to you. And you can tell yourself things like, I always feel safe and protected in the world. I am always safe to be myself. I am always safe wherever I am. I am safe and sound as I imagine I am. Nothing that can hurt me is attracted to me. I give off a vibration, I give off an energy which attracts only good. Only good is attracted to me. And I breathe in, I breathe in the energy and I continue to feel more and more safe, more and more connected to my source. I am divinely protected in all that I do. I am relaxed and secure at all times. I am safe and protected at all times. I am safe and secure at all times. I am safe and well treated at all times. I am secure about all aspects of my being. I choose to feel safe and secure at all times. I am com completely safe and secure in my life. My life is lived exuberantly, consistently, and creatively in love. Now we're moving up to the heart chakra now. Once you reach the heart chakra, you begin to feel what it feels like to be in a mindset of unconditional love. All is well in my world. 
everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I feel good. I feel at peace. I feel loved. My loved ones are safe and protected by God in every situation. I am loved and protected by God in every situation. I am safe and secure at all times. I am safe. And life supports me. Everything is working out for my highest good. My emotions, my mind, my spirit, my soul, my etheric body and auric body are all completely energized. And always eternally, unconditionally, easy, easily, effortlessly, naturally, magically, and supernaturally in a state of peace and tranquility. I focus on clarity and psychic protection several times a day. God's love and security infuse my heart. I feel love at all times. I feel connected at all times. I am connected to my source. I am connected to God. I am connected to everyone around me that loves me. And there are many people who love me. I am safe and secure. I have everything that I need. I know that I am safe. I have everything that I need. I am safe and loved. I am loved by many people. I am always in the mindset of unconditional love. I share love easily. I give it away easily and I attract it easily. It comes back to me easily. I am safe and protected by divine forces. I am safe wherever I am. I am loved. I am protected. God has surrounded me with a barrier of peace and serenity. I speak life into my world. I speak life into my work. I speak life into my vision. My vision is becoming more and more clear all the time. I see, I see all the good things in my life, first of all, and I see all the opportunities that are coming into my life. I will never allow negative thinking to penetrate my thoughts, dictate my decision-making, or intimidate my hope for the future. I surround myself with people who lift me up, speak life into my vision and purpose, and who bring out the best in me. I am a bearer of light casting out into the darkness. I am a channel of love and light and healing energy in my world. As I connect to source more and more every day, I realize that I am a channel of love and light and healing energy in my world. Negativity has no place in my world and it must leave where I am present. I become more and more positive every day. Every day I connect to the source within me. Every day, situations come into my life, which bring more and more opportunities into my life, more and more love into my life, more and more chances to show compassion and kindness into my life. I am committed to raising my energy when I feel myself getting lost in negative thought. I immediately go back into a state where I can feel that positive energy within myself and all around me, interpenetrating me, all that positive energy. And I immediately return back to that state of a positive mindset, which becomes my home which becomes my way of living. Every day, I get more and more positive. Every day becomes more and more magical. Every day becomes more and more full of blessings. More of those little opportunities, those little magical opportunities that come into my life, which 
choose faith and fear over love. There are two ways to go through life. You can go through life with a sense of fear, or you can go through life with a sense of love and trust. I'm choosing on a daily basis to go into that day with a sense of love, a sense of trust, and no longer going into that day with a sense of fear. No matter what's going on around me, there can be going on a pandemic around me. I always come back to that place of love and peace. Namaste. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for wrapping us in the goodness of love and life and peace. Thank you. Yeah. And last but not least, this half, I welcome Bill Fuller. Bill, what are you sharing with us tonight? Okay, um, I have a, um, a presentation. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, can every whoops. Um, can everybody see that okay? Okay, great. Um, last month, uh, Kristen asked me uh, to do something about Tokipona, uh, which is the language of good. And so we're, um, um, I created um, a, an affirmation that you can use daily and a mantra uh, for you to use um, in Tokipona. So we're gonna learn a little bit of Tokipona uh, tonight. This is audience participation. So I hope everybody is um, unmuted. Okay. Um, and yeah, we'll have some uh, action there. Okay. Uh, I can only see a, a snippet here because of the screen sharing. So Tokipona was invented by Sonia Lang. Sonia invented a Tokipona in 2001 when she was a graduate student at the University of Toronto. She was studying linguistics and uh, translation. Uh, she found her mind racing so much that she developed the language as a way of slowing down and simplifying her thoughts. Um, the, um, one of the guiding philosophies of the choice of uh, the construction of the language is Taoism and minimalism. So Tokipona is a language of mindfulness. And now we're going to learn a few words of uh, Tokipona. So Tokipona, the first word is Toki. So can you say that after me? Toki. Toki, good. And now we're going to associate every time we say something, we're going to associate that with a hand gesture. And so uh, I'll offer a hand gesture, but if you like another hand gesture, you can use it instead. So Toki, you can think of like a little hand puppet talking. And Toki sounds like talk and talk is language. So Toki. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> say that again, Toki. 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 Okay, good. Uh, Pona is the word for good. Okay, can you say that? Pona. 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 Yeah. Pona. yeah, accent is always on the first syllable of a word. And so this, uh, you can hug yourself and think about being good. So, Pona. 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 Okay, great. More words. Loan means presence, existence. And you can think of, this is where I am. So I have like my uh, hand that draws a line through my center. Loan. 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 Perfect. Okay, one. 
and the gesture one. For that is one. And it sounds like one, but it's pronounced one. 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 Good. Okay. Tasso means only. And you can use, a, uh, I use the hand gesture like this, tasso. Tasso. So tasso. 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 Okay, great. Ollie stands for all. So you can like put out your hands. Uh, if I do it, you won't be able to see my hands, but put out your hands to include all, all things. Ollie. Ali. 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 Great. Say we means the highest divine. And this is a picture of the seventh chakra, the highest chakra on your body. So say we. Say we. Say we. Say we. Say we. Say we. Okay, you guys are great. Okay, now. Uh, we're going to put all of these together into a daily affirmation. And the way it goes is lon wan taso li lon, bona ali se wi taso li lon. Okay, and the translation is there is only one presence, there is only the highest all good. Okay, so we can sort of go through that together with our hand signals. Okay, so lon. <laughs> Long. One. 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 Tasso. Lilon. Hona. 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 Ali. 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 Say we. Say we. Tasso. Tasso. Lilon. 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 So long one. Don Juan. Juan. Don Juan. Taso. Taso. Pona ali se we taso li lon. Pona ali se we taso li lon. Pona ali se we taso li lon. Li lon. Perfect. And so this is um, in many statements, uh, in many, um, in science of mind, this is one of the great affirmations. Um, there is only one presence. There is only the highest good. And now we can take that second line, the second sentence there, Bona Ali se we tasso li lon, and use that as a breath mantra. And so on the in breath, you can think or say, Bona Ali sa se we, and then on the out breath, tasso li lon. Bona Ali se we, Bona Ali se we, tasso li lon. Okay, well, um, and so you know, so this is my holiday gift to you all. Uh, this was created just for um, um, this um, uh, session of OHAM. And what I'm thankful for is all of you. Um, without uh, your prompt, and um, I would have never thought of doing this, and I would never have created the breath mantra or the affirmation. Mm -hmm. So uh, you all are wonderful um, prompts to creativity, and I am grateful for all of you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much, Bill. Um, as you're ready, go ahead and stop sharing your screen. Here we go. Uh, 
I am so pleased to, you know, we did, we've done, I think, two meditations already tonight. We've heard gratitudes. Bill, thank you for teaching us one of the many languages that you know, or teaching us a tiny bit of one of the many languages that you know. Uh, I, it, it's so sweet to be among a community that uh, know, has such a diversity of knowledge and skill and shares it. So thank you. All right, folks, it's break time. We're going to take, we're a little bit after the hour, which is just fine, but take them five minutes to stretch your legs. Uh, we will be back at 814. And if you're, if you're enjoying tonight and have a little bit of extra money to give, we accept donations. It goes forward to uh, support us when we have a space again. It'll support us in having this in a real live in-person environment. So uh, enjoy your five minutes and I'll see you back in a few. Matt is going to put up the donation slide now. I'm pretty sure.
Okay, folks. Welcome back to the to the show. I hope that your butts feel newly poofed out from getting up and walking around. And uh, we are beginning our second set with the wonderful Ralph Leesberg. Ralph, what do you have for us this evening? Um, well, Christmas songs. What else would I have? Woo! What else would I have? <laughs> So some of the ones that uh, um, Chris said something about songs you rarely hear. I work retail. I hear all those songs all the time. So uh, this is one that I don't hear as often as I would like, actually. Out of all the reindeer, nope, not, not that's sorry. Let's try this again in the right key. Can you hear the guitar? Can you hear the voice? Well, out of all the reindeer, you know you're the mastermind. I run, run, Rudolph, Randolph can't be far behind. I run, run, Rudolph, Randolph's gotta come to town. Santa make him hurry, tell him he can take the freeway down. I run, run, Rudolph, I'm reeling like a merry-go-round. Well, Santa to a boy child, what have you been longing for? All I want for Christmas is a rock and roll electric guitar. And away went Rudolph running like a shooting star. Oh, well, run, run, Rudolph, Santa's got to make it to town. Santa make him hurry, tell him he can take the freeway down. I run, run, Rudolph, I'm reeling like a merry-go-round. Well, Santa to the girl child, what is it you want to get? A little baby doll that can drink, sleep, cry, and wet. And then away goes Rudolph, screaming like a saber jet. Well, run, run, Rudolph, Santa's got to make it to town. Say he got to hurry, tell him he can take the freeway down. I run, run, Rudolph, I'm reeling like a merry-go-round. You can all echo this. Run, run, Rudolph, 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 I'm reeling like a merry-go-round. Whatever. <laughs> oh, where? I just dropped my pick. Oops. I have no idea where it is. Oh, Fortunately, my. I always carry one in my pocket. Wise man that you are. Good job. I don't know where that one is either. It's not a oh, no. Okay, so never mind. I just do want to say most of you are not on my Christmas card list, but if you were, this is the Christmas card you would. That's backwards, isn't it? It says peace, hope, and joy. It was uh, from a, a photograph. That's a painting of mine from a photograph of a photographer friend of mine, Sandhill Cranes in Indiana at sunset. Anyway, so Merry Christmas. It's coming through beautifully. The boards were not backwards. Oh, good. Okay, great, great. And the other thing, I don't know if you can tell, but this shirt is surfing Santa's. <laughs> if you... <laughs> Whatever. An old Heller, Harry Belafonte tune. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say, Mary's boy child Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Hark now, hear the angels sing, a new king born today. Man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. The trumpets sound and the angels sing. Listen to what they say. And man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Now while shepherds watch their flocks by night, they see a bright new shining star. 
They hear a choir sing The voices seem to come from afar Now Joseph and his wife Mary They come to Bethlehem that night They got no place to born the child Not a single room was in sight But hark now, hear the angels sing A new king born today And man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. The trumpets sound and the angels sing. Listen what they say. The man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Well, by and by they find a little nook in a stable all forlorn. And in a manger cold and damp, Mary's little baby was born Long time ago in Bethlehem So the Holy Bible say Mary's boy child Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day Well hark now hear the angels sing New king born today And man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day the trumpets sound and the angels sing Listen what they say Man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day Yes, man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day Jingle bells. <laughs> Bonus points if you can tell what this is that I'm waving around. Is it mistletoe too? No. Oh. Can you tell? I can't tell. This is a bunch of cat collars. They all have <laughs> bells. It's the only <laughs> thing I have with bells on it. <laughs> That's a great thing for jingle bells. I like that. <laughs> well. I, I, I took it upon myself once upon a time to learn Merry Christmas in as many different languages as I could. Um, Joyeux Noel is French and Fröhlich Weihnacht is German and uh, Gott Jule is, uh, is um, Scandinavian and um, uh, something about Happy Kirstfeest is Dutch, but I can't remember exactly how that goes. Um, Melikaliki Maka obviously is the, uh, is the Hawaiian. Um, <clears throat> uh, Vasily Vinacci is... is, is uh, Oh, it's not Bohemian. It might be Bohemian. I can't remember. It's one of the Eastern European languages. Um, and then Sing Dong Philo is, uh, is, I think it's Mandarin, but I, I could be wrong on that one too. But anyway, the one that everybody knows mostly, <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año y Felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Sing along. Feliz Navidad. Feliz, feliz. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz, feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Cha cha cha. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Joyeux Noël. Bon Natale. Yes.
yes thank you <laughs> oh thank you ralph thank you for bringing your brand of christmas spirit with surfing santas and oh, just just songs we don't hear very often <laughs> Thank you. All right, next we have Bonnie Shiplet. Bonnie, are you ready for us this evening? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, bring it on. Want to just say hello to everyone. Uh, Steve, I think you're here. Hello, Steve oh, and Mary. And uh, hey, Steve. You can't see. And, I think she just. Uh, my cousin Cherry's here from Albuquerque, who is uh, Sharon's sister. So, hi, Cherry. <laughs> This is a thoughtful Christmas song for this evening. Uh, thank you, Ralph, for Feliz Navidad. I heard the bells on Christmas Day Their all familiar carols play and wild and sweet the words repeat a peace on earth good will to man i think of as the day had come the belfries of old christian dumb had rolled along the unbroken song a peace on earth goodwill to men and in despair i bowed my head there is no peace on earth i said for hate is strong and mocks the song a peace on earth, goodwill to man. Then louder than the bells did reap, God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. And peace on earth, goodwill to man. Then ringing, singing on its way, the world revolved from night till day. A word, a chime, a chant sublime, and peace on earth. holidays everyone thank you bonnie I, you're I welcome so appreciate your vibe and your sound there's no one else that sounds like you <laughs> thanks all right beautiful That's to be here thank you you're welcome yeah all right paul chopas it is your turn what do you have uh tonight i'm going to play for you a um uh, I'm calling it a bicameral medley. Um, I had written a uh, sonatina for classical guitar a few years ago, um, and it's kind of lengthy, so I have six minutes. So <laughs> I've kind of compressed uh, two, two of the principal themes into a piece. So uh, assuming my fingers work, we'll hear it now. <laughs>
That was beautiful. Thank you, Paul. Do you have um, your tracks recorded that we can look them that up one's on Spotify? Not recorded. Or? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, I have uh, one. Uh, I have one um, LP-ish thing out uh, from 2009, and I did release a single uh, in January of this year. And I've got about an, a set of I think eight to ten other tunes coming out when I can get. Uh, they're recorded already. I just haven't done the post-production stuff yet. So okay. Well, keep us posted, please. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Woo. All right. Oh, and now it is time for grateful abundance again. What are we abundantly grateful for? Now's the time to share. You can share again. If you've had more ideas, you can share for the first time if you haven't shared yet. Uh, this is the time for grateful abundance. I'll read my cat collars. <laughs> we had, we had so many. I guess I'll, I guess I'll go. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try something here. I I uh, I guess I'd echo something somebody had said earlier today. Um, I I've been really blessed. I I don't tend to measure my uh, abundance necessarily uh, in fiscal or material terms. Um, I feel really fortunate that I have uh, the family that I have. I have uh, a wife of 40 years. Um, I have three sons and two grandchildren. And uh, I very, I feel very, very fortunate about that. And I had read something very recently about, um, uh, and I don't remember the Buddhist philosopher that said it, but that basically that... Um, there is not a thread's bit of difference between um, Saranya and Nirvana uh, and the state of suffering and the state of bliss. And, um, you know, the point being that it's, it's um, or, or maybe put it in a more Christian term, I've heard this articulated this way, is that, you know, God didn't go anywhere. Where did you go? <laughs> you know, and so that we're constantly surrounded by this, this um, planet we've been gifted, if you will, and, you um, uh, it just takes us appreciating it, you know, no matter how things are, are looking at any given instance. Thank you. It does. That is how are we looking at it? One one of, of, I see you want to say. The, yeah, one of the neatest things that happened right as COVID, as we shut down with COVID, was the clear skies that occurred all around the world. How good that was for Mother Earth to get a break. Um, I also like the, the sweet stories and things that happen, like uh, a couple days ago on Next Door, which is the neighborhood uh, <clears throat> online group thing where you can get advice and help each other out kind of thing. Somebody put up that they had become aware of a family that really needed help, and she described what was going on, and your heart just went out to it. She didn't have it up a half an hour and she'd already had 30 people contributing to that family. And it was just, you know, she coordinated it and, and it was so nice to be able to help that way. It is lovely to see folks reaching out for what they need for one and people being so happy to give. I saw on a neighborhood feed that someone just wanted people to send Christmas cards to her kids. She's like, I don't have any family. I'm a single mom. I have two kids and they would love to receive Christmas cards. It would just make me happy. And over a hundred people responded and said, sure, I'll send one to each of your kids. It can be as simple as that. Hmm. Yes, Jim? One of the things I've decided is abundance has nothing to do with wealth. You know, people talk about you have to have a you have to have a lot of money, or you have to have a boat or a car or whatever. But really, abundance is all about knowing that you have all you need and being satisfied with what that is, and that is abundance. And once you can do that, I once put a sign up on the bulletin board that when you when you have all you need and you know it, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. <laughs> That's abundance. And I feel abundant and I'm so grateful 
Mm. As I listen to this show, the more I appreciate all the people that are here. It's wonderful. Thank you, Jim. Anybody else want to share this evening? Yes, Bill, unmute. This is uh, just a, a report of something I saw this afternoon on uh, the Reuters uh, afternoon news. Um, it was a story about a woman who was a housekeeper uh, in a hospital. And the report mentioned that um, the janitors and housekeepers in hospitals uh, are really very unrecognized um, because they um, uh, get exposed just as much as the medical professionals do um, to uh, the virus and uh, this woman uh, uh, contracted the virus uh, in July. She was in bed for a month, and then she went right back uh, to working in the hospital because she felt that it was so um, so important. And um, she was grateful um, that um, she was able to do such an important work as serving uh, the patients and the medical people in the hospital. And as a sign of her gratitude, uh, she said that she had a, a vase of flowers on her table, and every day that was an offering of gratitude to God. Mm. And I was just overwhelmed by that. <sighs> yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I could feel it. Anybody else? All right. Well, I would like to welcome our first time performer, Sharon Rogers tonight. Uh, we can see here that Sharon will be playing the accordion. Don't forget to unmute yourself, Sharon. There we go, there. <laughs> All right, yes, the accordion. <laughs> not, um, not everybody's first choice, but when I was about five, I started asking for an accordion. And all these years later, when I found my family, uh, my sister reported that our grandmother used to play the accordion at barn dances. So it must have been some sort of genetic need I had. <clears throat>
Merry Christmas and thank you for inviting me. You're welcome and thank you. And I tell you, the, the accordion came through so nicely on Zoom. You never know. <laughs> What a pleasure. I, I've rarely heard the accordion and I don't think I've ever heard it with a Christmas carol. So thank you for sharing your gift and come back anytime. Thank you. You uh, are wonderful, Sharon. <laughs> okay, so next tonight we have Bernadette. Uh, Bernadette, are you ready to go? I see you've got stars in your hair. Yeah, I just, everybody, it looks so festive. I thought I'd do something. <laughs> so, also, I could find with some stars. So. Okay. What are you sharing with us tonight, Bernadette? I'm going to do a Christmas song and uh, share it with everybody. And it's just a cute little song called Santa Baby. Mm -hmm. And I hope you enjoy it. And thank you very much. Thank you to Linda and Jim, especially for all their support. And, um, and Linda for helping me understand I, that I was an empath also. Oh. And so I would like to get, I'm going to get one of your books, Linda. So, yeah. So... Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Santa baby Slip the sable under the tree for me I've been an awful good girl Santa baby so hurry down the chimney for me come on Santa Santa baby a 54 convertible to light blue I'll wait up for you dear Santa baby so hurry down the chimney tonight Think of all the fun that I miss Think of all the fellas I haven't kissed Next year I could be just as good If you check on my Christmas list Santa baby I want a yacht that's not a lot. <laughs> Santa baby, I've been an angel all year. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. One little thing I really need. That deed to a platinum mine. Santa baby, hurry down the chimney tonight. Come on, Santa. The fun I miss, oh yeah. I think of all the fellas I haven't kissed. And next.
next year I'll be just as good if you check off my Christmas list. Oh, oh, oh. Santa baby, fill my stock with a duplex and a check. Oh, Santa baby, sign your name on this X right here on the line. Santa cutie and hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa down the chimney tonight. Oh, tonight. Come on, Santa. Baby, you know, I didn't have a chimney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you bring us all there when you sing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, Mr. Jim, it is your turn. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. And I'm unmuted. That's a good thing. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is a poem. Uh, it was actually a chant, and, but I've added a couple of wor words actually from being associated with the uh, Center for Spiritual Living. It's called Lift Me Ever Higher. I think I'll just sing it. Lift me ever higher so that I can see all the things that you do to show your love for me. You give me grace and peace. I know serenity. I hear your voice. I feel your love. We are we for eternity. Lift me ever higher so that I can know you are always with me wherever I go. You give me grace and peace. I know serenity, I hear your voice, I feel your love, we are we for eternity. Beautiful. Mm, yes, thank you. And this poem uh, it's called Beautifully Being You Always, and it's all about what the perspectives we keep. If life is seen through the moon and the stars, some things are so near and some things are so far. Our senses deceive us that we would believe that all that is around us is what we perceive. All is the energy that drives the creation, defining the boundaries without limitations, all sources unknown that we need not fear, for all is the heavens, the now and the here. If life is seen through the eyes of our dreams, we are surrounded by love and safe in all things. Strive for serenity, live life with love, peace, and grace. Let the moonlight and starlight fall in your face. Mm. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Oh, look at us running on schedule tonight. And it's so beautiful. Every single share, every single piece of music. And it is my privilege to round this out with my Ah, uh, yes, thank you, meditation. Are you, and this one is not meant, meant to make you go inside. This is made, meant to make you come out, connect, bring it home and smile. 
Are you willing to do a few rounds of ah, yes, thank you meditation with me? Yes. Yeah? All right. So. Unmute. Uh, I don't care. Sure, unmute. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so the words, ah, yes, thank you. Those are your words. And there's a motion that goes with every with the words. So hands on chest, ah, eyes down. There we go. Yes, eyes up, arms open. And thank you. So reach your hands out to everybody here. There you go. Bring it back in. Ah. Yes. Thank you. Ah. Yes. Thank you. Ah. Yes. Thank you. One more time. Ah. Yes. Thank you. And then we'll end with, ah. Thank you. That is the ah, yes, thank you meditation. And uh, I think pretty much everybody that does it smiles at some point. Grandkids like it. <laughs> Adults like it. Thank you for doing it with me today. And thank you for joining me and everyone here for this month's OHOM. Uh, I want to again thank you to Jim, who has uh, just been developing this out so beautifully from his communication with his emails and invites to promotion to really being that central force in the team. And I get to uh, support and Matt gets to support up on tech there with his headphones on. So sorry, the Viking helmet didn't fit tonight, Matt. <laughs> and, uh, and thank you to Christopher Salomone, who's always there helping with the lineup and uh, really anything that needs support. So thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Uh, enjoy the lights and the festivities and the warm glow from within and whatever else may show up. Thank you. You ready for some music to dance on out of here? We'll yes. see if it works better this time. <laughs> Let's go with this one. <laughs> And let's see if we can share it. How funky.
your screen. Take a good look at your eyeballs. There we go. Back up. Yeah, so there's that. Yep. And back up. Second Friday, <laughs> seven o'clock. See you next time. Thank everyone. you. Right. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>